Hey everyone, my name is Angela Ferrari. I'm a children's book author and illustrator here in Portland, Maine. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can create your own illustrations using Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's a great program, perfect for new illustrators. So let's jump in and hit the drawing board. This is the cover for my newest book, The Shape Escape, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I made this illustration. Let's start with a new blank file eight and a half inches by eight and a half inches. We'll name this one demo. The first tool we'll start with is the gradient tool. Select the tool and we can edit the colors here. I'm choosing this lime color and having it fade into white. Hit okay, drag our mouse and release. Now we have this nice green fading into the white. The next part of our background will make a ramp by creating a new layer hitting the shape tool, choosing the rectangle tool, and selecting this deep purple color. We can customize further here, make it maybe a little bit darker. Hit OK, and let's create a rectangle. To edit this, we will simplify the layer, and to create the curve, we will erase using a circle-shaped eraser and then resize the image to fit the page. There we are, a nice steep curved ramp. Now that we have our background completed, let's create some shape characters. A new layer, hit the shape tool. This time we'll choose the custom shape and what's really cool about Photoshop Elements, there's all kinds of really cool shapes that come with the program but today we're going to be working with some pretty simple shapes select the circle and i want this blue light blue color here and if you hit the shift key it will make your shape symmetrical and we want this character to pop off the page so let's play around with some style editing simplify that layer and we'll hit the styles tab. Let's start with an inner glow. I really like this radioactive effect. I think it's really fun. You can customize these further by hitting the settings button and you can play around with size, opacity, color for that inner glow. I like it how it is though. I'm going to keep it there. And then for this to pop off the page even more, we'll hit a drop shadow. And I like this soft edge. Maybe play a little bit more with the opacity and the distance from the shape and angle it so it comes from behind the circle. Spread out the size a little bit. And there we are. And let's create our next shape character body. New layer. Let's make our square next. Hit the custom shape tool and select the square shape. We want that to be an orange color. And hold down the shift key to keep that shape symmetrical. Resize, put into place, and let's do the style editing. That drop shadow again, and the inner glow. That radioactive effect is really cool. We'll do that one again. And let's make our little triangle character. New layer, we'll select the triangle shape here. And we want that one to be pink. We'll resize it, put it into place. There we are, and we'll apply those same styles, the inner glow and the drop shadow. And now that we have our shape bodies, let's add some faces to these characters. We'll create an eye by using the circle shape. We'll do a white circle with a little black circle inside. Get the black. Resize that, put it into place. 
sometimes I like to zoom in. You have a little more control when you're resizing. And we can simplify that layer and merge these two together. And for even more detail, a new layer, let's do a white highlight inside that black circle and play around with the opacity here if you'd like. Perfect. Merge those two layers together. Now we have our eye for the shapes. Can resize, put the eye into place. We want it kind of looking down. The other two shapes, duplicate that layer so it's the same size, but maybe rotate it so it's a little cross-eyed because that's super cute. And let's duplicate that eye and use it on the other shape characters as well. We can resize, rotate, and duplicate. And do it the same way for our triangle character. Duplicate and put into place. Now we need some mouths. Let's draw a goofy smile on our circle in black. Select the paintbrush, make sure the opacity is back to 100%, and a big silly smile. And we'll fill that in with the paint bucket. Cute. And we could free draw a smile on these shapes as well, or I like to use this oval shape. You can do a horizontal oval for one mouth and a vertical oval for another mouth. It's cool that the same shape can look so different when you orient it differently. Now that we have our characters drawn, let's work with some text. So it's important um, if you're going to download a font online, I'm using hand-drawn shapes. And um, make sure you're using something that's free for commercial use or you're paying, to lice you're, you're paying the fee to use it. The shape escape. Let's put our text in place, resize it, get everything in the spot where we want it. Rotate the the. And let's change the color of our fonts. I want the to be the color of the circle. Shape, I want to be the same color as a square, that orange color. Color selector, highlight the font. And escape, I want the same color as the triangle, that pink color. Perfect, now that we have the size and color we want, let's add some effects. Simplify the text layers and let's add some effects with our style editor a drop shadow an inner glow that same radioactive glow is cool maybe we'll add a stroke too so these words really pop off the page maybe the five point and let's do the same thing to the other words Drop shadow. Radioactive inner glow and a five point stroke. And for the final font, we'll do words and pictures by Angela Ferrari. Of 
course, you'll be putting your name in here instead of my name because you're going to be illustrating your own awesome book. And you can also do an effect to that one if you'd like. But I kind of like how it is. And now we have our finished product. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you and inspires you to create some fabulous illustrations. If you'd like to learn more about me and my work, you can go to storiespectacular.com, listen to the podcast, check out the books, and learn about the stories behind the stories. I hope you have a spectacular day. Stop!